Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm of course going to be making this resin tray today and when I put out a bunch of tutorials in a row I start to feel this disconnect from you guys and like this need to put out a chat video or some kind of sit down video because I love these kinds of videos and just being vulnerable and I think that although I make business and art tutorials that such a huge part of my business is being an artist and living as one so I think that these conversations are really important to have. The chalk paint I'm using on this tray was very dried out and not working well for me so thank goodness I just bought a new one. I used to think that self-doubt and not liking every single thing I made, feeling any of those quote negative emotions meant that I wasn't cut out for the industry I wanted to be in or to be an artist, when in reality those are just such common emotions that pretty much, if not all, artists face. And it's not an indicator that you should give up or not go for your dreams, it actually means that you care because if you were indifferent to it, you wouldn't have a strong negative reaction. Oftentimes the things we fear are what we want most because I always feared just going for my dreams and being an artist But that's just because I cared about it so much and those emotions are totally normal it Does not mean that you should give up or not do what you want I got to a point where not doing what I want and thinking of doing a job I hate or living a life I don't want to live scared me more than going for my dreams did and it's honestly just consistency that is key and I've talked about this before I know when people say you're talented they're basically just saying you're good at what you do and it's so kind and I never take it negatively but it really isn't talent most of the time it's hard work it's dedication that's going to get you anywhere hard work will always prevail but what's difficult is every single artist at some point or another hits artist block and I feel like a lot of artists actually live in artist block more than they live in inspiration so it's kind of about finding a way to be consistent while still in the artist block phase and I really want to do a whole video on that. It's so much hard work and it's not always appreciated whether it's society or someone in your family, the typical when are you going to get a real job and the problem with being an artist is there isn't one set path it's not like a lot of other jobs where you go to school you get a degree and then you do that job and there's this set path that makes sense and it does make sense for those kinds of jobs so being an artist is constantly cultivating your own path and grabbing experiences and opportunities and the grind never stops because even the most famous actors still audition for movies so be proud of the fact that you build your own path constantly every single day every day that you're working towards your dreams means something even if they feel like small steps because most of life happens in the small moments things like winning an award or getting recognition for something those moments are fleeting and they don't come super often so it's kind of about the work we put in every day and how we handle everyday life as an artist that really matters i know a lot of people watch this channel for resin help business help or help with their creativity maybe you're new to art or you're just new to resin art Whatever it is, I kind of just want to encourage consistency. That is the number one thing. For every, you know, couple items I sell on my shop, there's probably 10 things that didn't make the cut. For every 100 songs I write, I probably like about 10 of them. When you're an artist, you're probably going to make more work that you don't like than work that you do. But that can't be discouraging. It's all a part of the process. And even the things that you make that you don't end up liking are still a part of the learning experience. And it's not any better or worse. I just made a snowy mountain scene with resin. I'll link that video below. I absolutely adored how it turned out. But I did get a couple unwanted bubbles and I was a little upset about it. And I posted it to my Instagram reels. And somebody commented saying, I thought that the bubbles were intentional. Another person commented saying, I thought the bubbles were fascinating. So that's why I want to encourage you to share your work because what you see as a flaw is something that someone else might find beautiful and you're never going to know that unless you share your work and that's why art is so beautiful because it connects us and it helps us to change our perceptions because once somebody said that i started to see my own work in a better light i will leave you with this wonderful quote by adam grant Many people hesitate to share their work because they're uncomfortable promoting themselves. Sharing your art, writing, or invention isn't an act of self-promotion, it's an act of self-expression. If you don't put your ideas out in the world, no one else can benefit from them. 
that is all for this video today. I hope that you found it encouraging. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!